What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a luxury video for you, but it's not really an unboxing because these are some items that I have been using over the last couple of months and they're small items so I didn't feel like they needed an entire video to themselves. So I have kind of put them all into one video for you guys. So it's kind of like a luxury favorites current favorites that um, I've been using from a little bit of my luxury collection. So if you want to see my current luxury favorites, then keep on watching. Right, so starting right off, we just got back from a long holiday over the Christmas and New Year's season, and one of the items that I've talked about on my channel before and have done an unboxing um, were the Louis Vuitton City Guides. So these City Guides, I normally take with me every city that I go to that has one, um, and I think it's such a great thing to read on the plane, research your trip, plan um, your route. Them. I've talked about these a lot on my channel before. I'll try and link the video down below for you. But the two that I have are Hong Kong. We recently just got back from Hong Kong. And in a week and a half, we are going to Chicago. This one I haven't used yet, but I've read through it. And um, I'll just use the Hong Kong one to explain to you kind of what we've done. They come with these little stickers. So you have stickers that you can mark little items on your book. Um, also what I've done is in here, I have um, pressed flowers from like all the cities that I go to. If I find flowers on the ground, I save them and press them. Also little things, so like we went to a Ralph's Coffee in uh, Hong Kong, so I just kind of put those little things in here. That way it's kind of like, a place to save little ticket stamps and or ticket stubs, things like that. Uh, and I know what city exactly they came from all the time instead of sticking them all in a drawer and not really knowing where it's from. So I kind of have everything saved like a little memory in here. Um, I've been collecting them for quite a while now and there's quite a few cities that I still need to get that I've been to that I wasn't getting them at the time, if that makes sense. So I wasn't getting Louis Vuitton City Guides always, I only recently just started this. So I have um, some here that sit on my desk and then I've got two new ones now. So I can obviously add my Hong Kong one, but they're really cute on the side um, with all of the fun color. And the spine, just so you can see, is that um, classic brown Louis Vuitton. I find it's such a great tool and actually really good information inside of them. Uh, it's not just really expensive places to eat and things to do. There are walking tours based off of architectural um, interests. There are walking tours based off of botanical things. And uh, there's also really good cheap eats and tips in here. So there's like the best street dogs in Chicago. So um, things like that if you are interested or you like to travel or um, you have somebody that's moving to your city and one of these is your city, it would be a really great welcome gift to somebody. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the same brand. This is another Louis Vuitton item. I picked this up in December. It was actually a gift. Um, so these are a pair of Louis Vuitton sunglasses and I have been obsessed with these and I get so many compliments. So many people want to try them on. You'll see now when I show them to you. These are the Louis Vuitton grease sunglasses. So if I put them at an angle like this, there you go. You can see that they have the monogram uh, on the glasses and they look like this on. They are so cute and they fit the face. I wanted a really black, dark glass, but I didn't, um, I, I like the reflection, but not all the time. So it's kind of like a nice half in between. Um, I've got quite a small face. So if you have a bigger face, these still will suit. So also, if you have a small face, I feel like this suits just fine. They fit really well, and they're really um, heavy-duty, uh, nice, nice hardware. I love all the gold detailing, the L's and the V's. Um, they've just put so much thought into the design of these, so it's not really just a sunglass. They're so much more, and I wore these all on my holiday. 
and they haven't tarnished or anything shown anywhere. I've also try and keep them. They have a little dust bag that uh, they come in, so I try and just like give them a little wipe. And then I obviously keep them in the box when it suits whatever purse I'm using. Um, again, they're called the Grease Sunglass, and I just think they're so cool. They really elevate an outfit, but they're definitely a splurge. But if you are somebody that takes care of your things, um, it's definitely worth looking at if you're looking for a nice black dark sunglass. Okay, I have another fashion item. I did speak about this very quickly on my wedding video. These are some earrings that I wore on my wedding day. Um, they're by Chanel. They um, aren't selling this one in the store anymore, so you need to find it on a resale shop like um, Fashion File or a vintage shop, but I wanted a drop pearl and I wanted, I didn't want Diamante or anything like that, I just wanted pearl. So I've got these um, earrings that I have found that I've been able to wear so much. So that's what they look like. They've got a little um, pearl insert and then there's just like a drop pearl. If you're unfamiliar with Chanel or you haven't shopped online um, or gone into a boutique before, just so you know, Chanel does not do real pearl. They do glass pearls, so um, it's costume jewelry. So they aren't as expensive as you would think they would be. You cannot wear them as much as you would normal pearls for you. They're just adorable and they're a really nice length. They're not like too long, too big. Um, I personally think that they're really good. Um, in between nice drop pearl and they're super timeless they do have the CC some people love that I didn't mind I just wanted like a really cute small pearl big pearl combo and this is what I happen to find they come into like a little bag like this so it's great to travel with but I've been loving these because I've been able to find that I've been able to wear them with so much more than just like my obviously wedding dress so that is another little luxury favorite at the moment so sticking with the same brand, but I'm moving on to fragrance. I have two fragrances. Um, this is the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel um, perfume. This, I love the way this smells. It reminds me of like my mom and just the best memories. So every time I wear this, it makes me so happy and it lasts a really long time. So um, this is the 100 ml and it lasts ages and the one thing that I'll say that I love about them is the little straw for example that goes down goes all the way down deep into a corner so you're never left with like a little bit in the bottle you can actually get your last spray in and this goes on sale a lot in um, beauty department stores so pick this up if you're looking for a new fragrance I just love the way this smells um, so yeah, that is my one fragrance. And my other fragrance that I have is um, by a brand named Barreto. A lot of people know about this brand now, but um, a few years ago it was more bespoke than it is now. But this is one of my absolute favorites. It's called Mojave Ghost. And it looks like this. You may have seen it maybe on Instagram or um, like in those uh, beauty collections of different items. But this is a very soft smelling like the, the difference between these two like this one's very sharp and like classic like the more mature smell this one has the most beautiful scent this is also unisex so it's made for men and women and it's just got so much more of a soft smell but it also lasts a really long time I love the magnetic top that it comes with and I love the simplicity of the packaging this was a gift um, also for my birthday from some of my girlfriends and I just love 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 this brand another really good fragrance by them is gypsy water but Mojave Ghost mm, so good I don't know if I would wear this one in winter as much um, just because when you smell it you'll understand it's a bit more light um, where this is more I think a winter, autumn, winter. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little luxury breakdown. Like I said, it wasn't enough um, to dedicate a video to each of them, uh, but 
I love just being able to show you little things here and there because to do an unboxing just for some sunglasses is it's fine because I can throw a video up but um, I wanted to be able to give you a video with a bit more substance so um, if you liked this and you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section down below subscribe if you're new I make new videos every week on luxury beauty fashion lifestyle travel I have a wedding series up on my channel right now as well if you are a bride to be so thank you again so much for watching be kind to one another and I'll see you on the next one bye